just just gonna say that real quick before I change my clothes. Sounds bad. Papyrus, you have a way of enticing me into very bad sentences and conversations. Just putting that out there. Welcome back to Undertale. Last time we desperately ran for our lives from Undyne, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, I do not believe I investigated the Jello. Jeez. Stand corrected. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. That mouse is never going to get that cheese, but we are determined that maybe one day it will. This mouse is a theme. Oh, it's so cute. It repeated the squeak too. I suppose the flower also leans into the idea of a silent protagonist because we can't say anything, I guess, that I know of that will be repeated by the flower. <laughs> Sans. You are everywhere and nowhere at the same time. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. Is that even a big booming business? Unless you like build massive telescopes, like planetarium level telescopes. It's not really 50G to use this premium telescope. Again, we are underground, but since I know you, you can use it for free. I can't help but wonder what is Sans' money source? Sans has racked up a tab at whatever that bar place was. He charges, he seems to like tell us, I'm going to charge you premium dollars, which now that I think about it, it seems just like more of the pranks, but still. Do you do this to everybody? How's about it? Use the telescope. I know for sure I do not have this money. I am desperately happy to find 20 gold, 20 Gs, 20, 20, 20 of whatever clam shenanigans money system we have. Whatever runs this economy, I'm happy to find 20 of those schmackaroos. I know for sure I don't have 50 of those things. So if I say yes, what's going to happen? What am I seeing here? Should have Sands. Huh? You you aren't satisfied? No. I really hope I didn't give you money. Don't don't worry. I'll give you a full refund, will you? I thought for sure, like for a second, that full refund would mean like a matching pair of these eyes. So I was a little concerned. Oh, you're just gonna repeat that. I was like, do you have anything else to say for yourself? What do you have to say for yourself, Sans? <laughs> At least the thing with the money, Sans doesn't follow through. Because when I think of someone who's like a con artist, I think of someone who takes the money and refuses to give a refund. Sans doesn't do that. Sans doesn't take the money and then say, what? No, it's your fault that you're not happy with this product. You pay for the product. You like no refunds. Sans doesn't do that because Sans isn't in it for the money. Sans is in it for the joke. And it seems like Sans wants everybody to feel like it is an honestly harmless prank and, and no harm, fe like no hard feelings. Nobody gets upset. Hence why it seems like Sans is so e like readily, readily, Red I see readily available. I don't think that's, that's, that's not the idiom phrase that I want to use. <laughs> like so easy to give the money back. It's not about the money. And we talk about motivations. Sans seems to be more motivated by maybe wanting people to have fun, wanting people to have a good time, like maybe wanting them to have a good time or just like pranks in general, like however we define prank versus like when I think of a con man, it would be more motivated by money, which is why the actions would be different. What's a star? Oh my gosh. They wouldn't know. They... They wouldn't know what the moon is, what the sun, anything that's above ground. Shit. And I mean, these are things that we could describe to someone. We can describe to someone what a star is in the sky. But those words lose meanings if we... Language is this social construct that we have to describe things. But if we 
have never seen the thing, the word kind of loses meaning. Like, we can describe a star, we can describe the night sky, but we'll never inherently be able to picture it if we've never seen it. Can you touch it? Can you eat it? It's like trying to describe oxygen if someone doesn't already inherently have an understanding of oxygen. Can you kill it? Oh, I mean, eventually stars do that themselves, I guess. Isn't that, isn't that the thing? Are you a star? No. Yes. Yes, I am. Different kind of star, but yes. Yes, I am a star. Don't kill me. Yes, I'm a star. The biggest star. Not the biggest. I am a star. <laughs> a lovely conversation. Very existential crisis. This is pretty! What's to the right? I shouldn't be shocked by anything in this game anymore. I should just expect the unexpected. This is very pretty, though. What do you have to say? What do you have to say for yourself? You're a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Don't you have anything to say for yourself? Apparently not. What about you? You hear a passing conversation. Mm, just one, but, but it's kind of stupid. There is no such thing as a stupid wish. Oh, I need to know more down or to the left. Who? <sighs> Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Vaguely, yes. It was a very strange question, and I was wondering if you were trying to identify me. Well, the friend who wanted to know- Oh my god, it's Sunday. Her, oh, her opinion of you is very murdery. Well, that kind of verifies it, doesn't it? <laughs> who says that? Their opinion of you is so murdery. Murder is kind of like an action. We don't usually take a take an action-y type word. I suppose it can be a verb or a noun. Like if someone committed murder, This, I guess it's a noun. We don't usually take that and make add a Y onto it, but I bet you knew that already. Sure as shit did. Yeah, when the spears came my way, I sort of guessed, shot in the dark. Kind of like the spears. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. Fuck. Of course you did. Papyrus, why do you have to, like, be so nice and like people and shit? Can't you just lie? Can't you be like Sans and just lie for once? A bandana. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. <laughs> About that. You know, I gave you so much shit. When you had so much faith in me that I would do the smart thing, and I did not. You're, yep, you're such a smart cookie that I am. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. That that actually sounds like people pleasing. Just Just gonna say that real quick before I change my clothes. Sounds bad. Papyrus, you have a way of enticing me into very bad sentences and conversations. Just putting that out there. Well, how did, how did, how change clothes? Oh, Tutu! Hey, I have, I'll put on a Tutu. Info. Armor, defense, 10. Finally, protective piece of armor. I'll put that on. That's not suspicious at all! <laughs> you equip the old Tutu. Okay, so now the bandana. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so glad you told me. <laughs> I was not big brain in that one. I was interested in this conversation with the flowers. Oh. Well, where's the rest of the conversation? This seems. Who? Who's there? Oh, it's a pair of ballet shoes. Yes, I want to take it. I want to wear them and pretend I know ballet. Please tell me this isn't a puzzle. What kind of hide in here? Play shoes. Tell me about it. Weapon at seven. These shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Like wearing high-heeled shoes. 
I'm not really attacking, but sure. I am a ballerina now who definitely knows ballet. Nobody will suspect that I was the ab toting bandana wearing rascal of a human. Ooh, rapscallion. That would have been a better word. Was I wearing any shoes? Oh, I had a tough glove instead. I just put just put the ballerina slippers on my hands. You know, I took one off, put the other on. That's how that works. Yes, 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 yes. You're passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. That is a surefire sign that someone will laugh. Oh, say it. oh I need to know more. I must know more about this intriguing conversation. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. The humans feared? Oh, yeah, yeah, because we have cool souls and all that jazz. Is there anything else I can explore down here? Someone can steal my soul. Well, anyways. Is that really everything that I could do? I guess so. Uh, no. Just, no. How? <laughs> How could you smell an underwater barnyard? Cause like you just sniff in the water. And just uh, can't I just leave? No! My soul is unclean. How can you tell? Son of a uh, Out darn spot! Isn't that Macbeth? How did you get Macbeth? Oh, down here in the deep down, dark deep down. You're rinsing off your pizza. Honey, what? Oh, I can spare you. I need to save so bad. No, I went the wrong way. I need a panic save. Because Aaron flexed his best. Sure, mm -hmm. the mouse might get the cheese one day. <sighs> oh, you're just gonna sell me stuff. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. I'm not spending my hard found gold. Okay, well, back down into the deep, scary place where Aaron lives. Excuse me, A.A. Ron. I am intrigued by this conversation! Am I going the wrong way? I think I am. Oh god, I did. I need an Aaron repellent. What would be an Aaron repellent? A backwards cap? And some Diet Coke? Son of a- Not those things, apparently. Something that's filled with too many carbs for carb loading, whatever that is. I didn't even extremely dislike it. I'm just bad at it. Which feels like all oh, the same thing. You are friends with the little bird. I got 30 gold. It feels like I'm bullying. <laughs> Give me all your lunch money, kid. Errands. Oh, don't hit me. I worked hard. Oh, are you? You you look cute. Hey there. Noticed you were here. Yeah, I am. Maybe not mentally. My processing speed is sometimes a little little far behind. It takes some time to catch up, but physically I am. I'm Onion San. Your face. <laughs> Onion San, you hear? I, I do. I do hear. Uh... You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Uh, uh, this is where my processing speed is. Is in a few rooms back, flexing with an Aaron, and I, it's not caught up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Big, big favorite, not little favorite. Big F, little F. What begins with F? Favorite, 
Favorite. Favorite. FF, even though the water is getting so shallow here. How big are you? I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city. Those are your only two options. And living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. Okay. But... And, and the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... You seem like you desperately want a friend. I, however... Uh, I'm a bit terrified of a great deal of new things. Like, newness equals scary. So, I would very much like to keep going, reach a save point. And then, then maybe I can come back and chat with you for a limited amount of time. But being forced to talk when, when I'd rather not doesn't... Oh, my shoe got caught. You didn't know that, but it did. But being forced to talk when I don't want to talk doesn't quite seem like a great situation right now. That's okay, though. You hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything. Here. About that undine. I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Say, say is the same vibe. It's like the, the mobster. Say, that is fantastic for you. I'm gonna keep walking. Hey! Hey there! That's the end of this room. That's that's great. I like to hear that. See you around! Have a good time! Fantastic and Waterfall! Isn't that a song? No, it's Wonderwall. <laughs> My bad. I yes, That didn't feel great. No! <sighs> Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Great! I will help both of us out. Ah! Don't. Oh. Taps a little beat with her fins. Don't make me go through that whole Aaron and awkward conversation again. It's, um. Hi. Hum at Jazz Ballad. She follows. I'm assuming she. I guess I shouldn't assume. Follows your melody. Oh! No! 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 She gets so much faster. So much. So much. <sighs> Seems much more comfortable singing along. Oh, good. Spare. Jeez, that was fast. The northern room hides a great treasure. What about... East? What about east? How greedy do I want to be? Oh, I like treasure. What? X equals quit. Well, doesn't X equal quit all the time? No, not. Haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. I will come back and try this later after I have found a safe space. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster soul. I can take their self esteem, self respect. Doesn't have to be their soul. I mean, if I'm willing to be rude i could go to some very low places and really really hit them where it hurts the self-esteem when a monster dies the soul disappears or you know that's a that's a thing too right you know what hurts worse a uh, philosophical question and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster oh oh uh, you just said it wasn't possible there is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. Boss monster soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. What, wait, what is, what, what? What does that mean? How do you know it won't happen? Fall. <laughs> that looks terrifying. Can I have a save? Give, give me a save. Give me a... Give me a save. Please take one. What are you? Sh sure, you told me to take it. Yep. I'm glad I have one. An umbrella. Oh my god. 
Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Please don't tell me Endine's here. I haven't saved recently. Let's go. No, I didn't. Look, you're violating my personal bubble. I didn't. You can't just do that without asking. Oh, you're very close on my, my ass, aren't you? Man, Endine is so cool. Where was, where was she? She beats up bad guys and never loses. That's fantastic. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Lovely. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. That's... That's lovely. You are following very closely. I'm just looking for a safe spot because if I die now, there's a lot of AA runs. So one time at band camp, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king. We had to call him Mr. Dreamer. Volunteer to donate him, donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. That sounds dangerous. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? I mean, power to you. If Undyne is at your school, Undyne is not hunting me. So, yes. Fantastic. She could beat up all the teachers. Teachers aren't necessarily bad guys. But I get where you, why you might want that. Mm, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. Maybe she wouldn't. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Too cool for school, huh? Oh! Uh, uh, oh, so I can go forward. Oh, I am, I am going forward. Okay. Are you gonna fall? Oh, I can look at the castle. Can't can't talk to you though. Okay, this does look pretty. Thought that was a dragon's tail at first. Here, get your own flippin' umbrella. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Okay. Yo, you want to see Endine, right? No, I don't. I really freaking don't. Put your umbrella. Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. I there's there's stuff that I wanted to look at back there. I thought that I would have a safe spot soon. Why are you still following me? And there wasn't a safe spot soon, so now I'll go back and look at all this stuff, and then come back and do this because this feels like something I can't come back from, which is a bit silly. Because I just want to look at things and explore without the constant, overwhelming, looming death over me. I expect to see something else other than us in the reflection of the water. Really glad that's not happening. Okay, you can go back to your place. Go, 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 go to wherever you were looking. You can stop following me. <laughs> see you later. Yeah, okay. I'll see you later. Am I just going to keep the umbrella? I guess so. Put the umbrella on the statue. Oh, so I couldn't have done this earlier? Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Okay. Is that connected to this at all? There's a piano here. Play it. Yes. Do. Oh. Okay. So. Z plays it. And then I can make these buttons. Ah. Uh... I was off by one note. To my credit, I didn't know that you could play the neutral note in the very beginning when I first started figuring this out. What? It's a legendary artifact. Yes, I want it. 
too many dogs. There's no such thing. Silly game. What it what it what are you? What what do? What do you I can't be carrying too many things. Oh, I am carrying a dog though. Dog, a little white dog. It's fast asleep. Oh, Joku, does that the legendary item? I'm already carrying. Okay, that's that's why I said that. I can only carry one dog at a time. So dogs are legendary items. That checks out. Okay, now I did the things, and I didn't skip the things, and now... You silly toot. I don't want to hear any more of you. This rain doesn't start until we enter the area. Don't, okay, you're not going to tell me about the flower again. I only need to hear about it once. As intriguing as your story was. How does it rain underground? I realize that it wasn't raining here, but like, how does it rain underground? Please have a safe spot. Oh, I gotta put my umbrella back. Yes, put it back. I have returned my umbrella. Thank you. How are you getting up? Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll always find a way to get through with the fierce determination to see N9. Oh, buddy! Your nose is gonna be broken like a lot at this rate. Thank fucking God I can save. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. That sounds, that sounds right. They attack suddenly without mercy. Also sounds right. The serene sound of a distant music, bo music box fills you with determination. Okay. Whoa. This is a good place to stop. No more Aarons. We have solved a music box puzzle. Look, I was like this close. I got one note off. One note. I got a dog. Dogs are a legendary item? Did not know that. And listen to a story. Ish, it was a passing conversation. Uh, did not get the resolution to that. Now I'm disappointed. And anyways, I'm a little terrified of seeing Undyne. I feel like it's been hinted at with the whole, like, bandana comment. Also, with the little kid. Whenever the kid shows up being like, Undyne, 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 uh, Undyne shows up. Like... Uh, what is it? Bloody Mary being summoned. Not a fan of that. So I feel like Undyne will show up soon. Not a fan. But I have to stop here. So I'd love your thoughts on the video and the game, and I'll see you next time.